Hi, I'm Jolie Castro, so um, I'm a property developer and builder, prominently in Cooparoo sort of area in Brisbane. Worked at Hutchies for about 10 years, um, site manager, project manager. I decided to sort of go out my own in the last um, year and a half. Recently completed Seville residences. There's a, uh, a development uh, further up on Cavendish Road called um, Cooparoo Green, which was an over 50s um, retirement sort of village. We found that development sold out very quickly and they were fast tracking DAs to get next stages so people could buy them. And we found that there was an owner occupier market which wasn't getting um, catered for in this area. So what we did was um, basically did a, a seven lot subdivision So when I worked at Hutchies, did some um, pretty large scale um, format projects from sort of a 250 hotel rooms to like a Bunnings warehouse. And towards the end of the job, like you, you literally had files, documents, and they'll be in binding folders and there'll probably be, you know, 10 to 15 of them in one of those sort of jobs. And it's not something that I wanted to do here for each owner. And so when um, Andrew reached out to us, and showed us a cloud-based sort of software. That was something that we jumped straight on board with. We run our whole business on cloud-based, like our online Word document and Excel stuff where we all share. It sort of fitted in well with sort of our business. Probably the maintenance and warranty stuff where you could set alerts. A couple of alerts have already gone off and the owners sort of a, uh, have touched base with me, what they need to do and stuff. That's probably the best part because typically, uh, sometimes people buy a unit and they think it's maintenance free where it's um, not typically maintenance free. They still need to do stuff even though it's a new place. Otherwise other hassles can occur. So I think that's a great sort of um, tool. Yeah, we're going to continue using Indoc's part of our um, brand and building our brand in the future. 